Well, hello everybody, welcome back. I'm really glad that you could join me again. I'm just sitting outside here in the garden in Edinburgh. It's been the most beautiful sunny day. The sun's just going around the buildings now, but it's still so warm in these walls. And it's very appropriate because the sun makes me feel very happy. And it's one of the reasons why I've been thinking about making a certain life change that I'm gonna discuss with you now but it ties in well with what I wanted to talk to you about. As you know, I've previously partnered with Babbel, the language learning app, and I'm partnering with them again today for this video. If you don't know about Babbel, Babbel is one of the world's leading language learning apps, and I've used it in the past to learn French, but today I want to share that I'm gonna be starting to learn Italian. So the reason why I've been thinking about learning Italian is because I'm actually considering making a move to Italy. Now I know that might sound like a bit of a surprise, but as you've been watching this channel, you may have realized that I have got itchy feet and I like to move around and change my life. And it's not something that scares me, it's something that I embrace. And my business partner, Vanessa, is actually making a move to Italy. She's already found a house there. She's going to be moving there with her partner. And because we work together quite closely and I'm not tied down to any particular place, I thought that I might consider moving there too. So as she moves across to Italy, I'm going to go and visit quite regularly and I'll start to think about whether it's something that I want to do to move there. So I think it's very important for me to start learning Italian. You have to learn the language to live there, so I'm going to start learning with Babbel. Now, one of the reasons why I like Babbel so much and it's been effective for me is because it has been designed by real language teachers and it has been scientifically proven to get you speaking a language in just three weeks. So when I was learning French, I found that I was using the app for 15 minutes a day just on a little break that I had in the daytime and my French was really improving. So I'm excited to see how my Italian will progress. Another important thing for me is that Babbel teaches real-world conversations, things that you really need to know how to say. So if I'm going to make the move to Italy and I need to have these proper conversations that you need to have when you move to a new country, I'm going to be able to do that. It's not just about, you know, ordering a coffee or ordering a bit of food. You have to know how to say real things and Babbel does that, which I think is very exciting. So that is me. I would love to know if you would like to learn a language. If you would, let me know in the comments and which one you would like to learn. It's always so interesting for me to see your point of view and what you have plans for. And if you do want to learn a language, I'm delighted to let you know that I can give you a 60% off your subscription with Babbel. All you have to do is check the description box for a link and you can head across there and do that. Grazie. Grazie. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Grazie. Grazie, signor Rossi. Grazie. Sì. Sì, grazie. So yes, I have decided that I'm going to paint the front door again. Now, if you've been watching this channel for some time, you will know that it was only recently, well, not really that recently, it was it exactly a year ago, a few weeks ago, that I painted the door to the colour that it is now. And I changed the hardware on it and made it look a lot better than it was because it was black with silver hardware and it didn't look very appealing. And I have enjoyed the door with this colour and with the hardware. But uh, since I painted my bedroom the green colour by Lick, this one, which is called Green 19, I just thought how chic it would look to paint the door that colour as well. Now in this little courtyard, which is filled with stone, even though I clean it regularly, and actually I'm due to clean it again next week, I'm going to jet wash all of the stone, it is quite mossy, which I actually like. <clears throat> I like the greenness and the naturalness of that, but I am going to clean the stone. But with these mossy walls and all of these plants, I think it could look quite chic with the green door. And I just think that the, the gold hardware with the little bee knocker and the gold handle will really pop with that green colour, make it look a bit more earthy and a bit more like a garden. So even though I have enjoyed 
the colour that I've got now, which I think was Bone by Far and Ball, I've decided for a change. And that is something that I always like to do. People always say, oh my god, you change everything all the time and you never stick with anything. But this will take me no more than an hour to do. It's not costing me any extra money. So to make little changes in my home, uh, that makes me feel happy and it gives me something to look forward to and something to enjoy being outside. So I always say that if you want to make these little changes, just do them. So yes, I have removed the hardware, I've cleaned the door with white spirit, and now I'm going to go ahead and get started on the painting. And as I said, I'm going to be using this colour by Lick Green 19. Absolutely love this colour in my bedroom. It's such a rich, mossy green. It's brought a lot of depth to the room. So I think it's going to make a big difference to this courtyard. And then I'm going to go ahead next week, as I said, clean it, buy some new plants. I would love to get some new pots for these trees, which I never have because it's quite expensive to get big pots like that, but maybe it's time to do that. And just spruce up the garden a little bit, ready for the spring and the summer. Spring is definitely in full swing now, and I feel that summer's on its way as well. So I'm definitely going to be spending more time out here. So it's good to get it refreshed and ready for that. So let's do it. And I've just got a splinter. So the first coat of paint is on and it's looking quite nice, but it needs a second coat, which I'm surprised about because it's quite dark, but there's a little bit of streaking in there. So to make it look as beautiful as possible, I'm gonna add a second coat. But to be honest, it's no big deal. It took me about 10 minutes at most to paint the door. So another 10 minutes and I'll have a brand new door. It's exciting. <laughs> So with this glorious weather, I thought that I should definitely get outside into the garden. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to meet my friend Vanessa in our local garden across the road. And yesterday we went for a walk. There is the most gorgeous blossom tree that has all the petals on the floor. And we thought how nice it would be when we have good weather to sit there and have a little bite to eat and a drink. So this is the perfect opportunity. Now what I wanted to do was take over some nice wine, some nibbles, but I also wanted to make a summer dessert. At occasions like this, eat and mess, I find, is one of the best for summertime, but I'm a little bit tired of it, so I wanted to try something else. I had a few things in my kitchen, and I've come up with a gorgeous summer dessert that I think you're gonna really enjoy. It's got all the things that I love, so it starts off with a base of biscuits. These are hobnobs, which are very famous in Britain. They're a crunchy, oaty biscuit that's very tough and you just bash them up, that's what I've done there. And then we have some chantilly cream, some mango pieces, pistachio and honey. So it's kind of a very summery, beautiful white dessert. So now I'm going to assemble this and make two more for my friends and we're ready to go over and head there. Okay, so this is the one that I made earlier. I'm going to make another one to show you how I did it. It's very simple. So I'm starting off with some of the biscuit and that is going to go into the bottom. This will create a nice base for our pudding and give a lovely crunch. Then we've got some of the Chantilly cream. So I'm just going to take quite a big scoop of that, plop it on top until it's covered. 
This cream is my absolute favorite. So simple to make, but very, very delicious. Something that everybody always loves. So there we go, got some cream. Now I'm gonna add in some mango pieces. This provides a real kick to the dessert. Bit of pistachio, again, for some more flavor and crunch. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of honey to counteract the sourness of the mango and to provide a sweetness. That is our first layer, so I'm just going to add another one on top, another bit of cream. And the beauty of this is that it doesn't have to look very neat, just do it as you can, like an eaten mess. It's supposed to look a little bit disheveled. That's the charm of this type of pudding. I'm going to put on some more biscuit. Some more mango. A little bit more cream in there as well. Finish with some pistachio. And then to really give it a nice little touch at the end, you can add in some mint. And there we have it. A very beautiful summery dessert. Now we need to think of a name. So would you like to help me choose a name for this pudding? Let me know in the comments. So welcome to the garden and my favourite blossom tree, which I think you'd agree is just stunning. And I'm just going to set up a picnic now for me and my friends under this tree. The sun is in the sky quite high, it's going to disappear shortly that way. But that's okay because it's still very warm today, actually unusually warm for Edinburgh. So my Fortnum & Mason hampers come in very useful. I got these for birthday gifts and they come with lots of beautiful goodies, but then you can use the baskets for decoration or like this for having a picnic and you can store everything in and then when you empty it out, you can use them as little tables and settings. So they're very, very useful. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up and then we'll have a nice picnic. Mm -hmm. 